Sorry, Rebecca Okoji. Please continue this together for her. The University Librarian Professor, Sarah Dauda Yani. We have the Senior Special Assistant to the Executive Governor of National State, Honorable Solomon, is in the house. Please put your hands together. Thank you. And we have a very close friend of the family of our Petrak, one that almost denied us the opportunity of actually having her introduced. Put your hands together for Mrs. Fatima, if you like Hajia Fatima, is a retired director from the Federal Ministry of Education. We recognize you very specially, Ma. Thank you. And of course, all members of Federal University Logoja and our students especially, welcome to this auspicious occasion. It is now my pleasure to welcome the Vice Chancellor for his address. Please clap. He's still the Vice Chancellor, he's an architect. As a matter of fact, he's a historian. <laughs> Thank you. The matter of the Macrofields family, Mentor and Unit, distinguished professors, staff and students, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pleasure and a deep sense of gratitude that I welcome you all to this significant groundbreaking ceremony. Today we gather to celebrate the commencement of the construction of a new lecture theatre generously donated by the esteemed Macrofields family. I am especially delighted to to extend a warm welcome to the matriarch of the Makoju family, Mommy Dr. Mrs. Gladys Makoju. Your presence here today is a testament to your enduring commitment to the advancement of education and your unwavering support for our beloved university. The Federal University of Korea is profoundly grateful to you, Mommy Gladys Makoju, and your entire family for this remarkable contribution. Your generous donation will not only enhance our campus infrastructure, but also significantly enrich the academic experience of our students. The construction of this state-of-the-art lecture theater stands as a welcome of your family's dedication to fostering educational excellence. Today, as we lay the foundation for this new facility, we also honor the memory of the late engineer, Daddy Joseph Oyeyani Makoju, whose post Umos birthday coincides with this very day. His, his legacy of service, philanthropy, will forever be etched in the annals of our university's history. In recognition of his invaluable contribution, the Federal University of Korea will immortalize Engineer Joseph Oyeyani Makodu by naming the lecture theater in his honor. This gesture will ensure that the spirit of generosity and commitment to education continues to inspire future generations. The benefit of this new lecture theater to our university community are manifold. It will provide a modern, conducive environment for learning, enabling us to host larger classes, seminars, and special events. This facility will also serve as a hub for intellectual exchange, fostering a vibrant academic culture and promoting collaborative research and innovation. We are committed to ensuring that this facility will be used to its fullest potential, maximizing its impact on the educational journey of our students and the scholarly work of our institution. It is our hope and firm belief that, by the special grace of God, the next memorial lecture in honor of engineer Joseph Oyeyani Makodu will take place in this very hall. This will be a fitting tribute to his memory and a celebration of his enduring impact on our university. In closing, I once again express our deepest gratitude to the Makoji family for their exceptional generosity. Your support will leave an indelible mark on our institution, shaping the future of countless students and scholars. Thank you all for being here today. We share in this momentous occasion. Together, let us look forward to the completion of this project and the many opportunities it will bring. God bless the Makoju family and God bless the Federal University of Okoja. Thank you. Please, can you make the ovation louder for the Vice Chancellor? Can you clap? Can you clap, please? Thank you very much, sir. 
Having taken the Vice Chancellor's address, we're now welcome to the microphone. The Joseph Oyenaye Makoju Foundation, and this is to be presented by Mr. Enesi Makoju. Please, can you put your hands together as he comes forward? Keep clapping, please. You need to really clap. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning to everybody here. Um, and I'll take a little time to observe protocol for a change. To my mother who is here, the matriarch of our family, Dr. And Mrs. Gladys Makoju, to all principal to, to all principal officers of the university, to the vice chancellor himself, provost, deans, directors, heads of department, the distinguished professors, the distinguished professors, the staff, and the students, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name has been announced. My name is Enesi Makoju, and I have the honor and privilege of being the first son and the first child of my father, my late father, engineer Joseph Oyeyani Makoju. And by virtue of my birth, my position, and where I am in life, I have the honor and privilege of being able to give these few remarks on behalf of the foundation that was opened in his name, the Joseph Oyeyani Makoju Foundation. Now, I won't take too much of your time, but I'll just say a few things. Um, before I even start, let me first of all thank the university and the vice chancellor in particular, because it's one thing to want to do something to um, remember and mark as a memorial for one's father, but the opportunity to do it um, can only be provided by people who are willing to give you that opportunity. So even though my mother and the family as a whole wanted to mark a memorial on behalf of my father with respect to education, one of the things he valued, um, we were very lucky and privileged to have the Vice Chancellor who encouraged and gave us this opportunity to do this for our father. I mean, it's not because there is money to do it that we're being able to do it, but because the university is willing to align itself with my father's name, reputation, and his values that they have given us the opportunity to do this. So we are grateful. We are the ones that are privileged. So we say thank you very much to the university. Now, why are we doing this? Um, it's always important to always put a mark to the legacy of a person. But that mark that you put to the legacy, the memorial to that legacy, is something you seek to align with the values of the individual. The truth is, yes, we're building this hall in memory of my father, and we have the privilege of being able to name it after my father, and we're grateful for that. But you see, this whole intent behind our willingness to invest some resources towards education is driven by a common purpose that both my father and my mother shared. My mother has been called Dr. Mrs. Makoju. The truth is, my mom is Dr. Mrs. Makoju because she has a PhD in education. She's a retired director from the Federal Ministry of Education. Our whole life has been focused in bettering this sector of education. She's worked as a teacher, but more, I guess most, most of her career was spent working as a researcher all over the country with regards to developing education. Herself and I have the honor of having Mrs. Ahmed here, who was my mom's co-researcher in their days in the Federal Ministry of Education. They went around the whole country doing different things. They worked with UNICEF, United Nations, World Bank, you name it. Over 20 to 30 years of continuous dedicated service to education in this country. And in all those years, when my mother was traveling, my father would always encourage her, provide her with all the transportation she needs, the drivers, support her. And there is no doubt that what we are doing today is, you know, it's just a mark, a memorial that we're putting to that legacy and passion they had. Now, not only did my father and my mother have a passion for education, they also had a passion for the development of Nigeria as a whole, but Kogi State, Ibira Land, and, you know, Kogi Central in particular. So having this opportunity to come here, Lokoja, which is, you know, the capital of our home state, and build this memorial in this sector, education, is really, really 
a big win-win for us and we're grateful. So I won't go too much further. What I'll just say is this. On behalf of the family, on behalf of the foundation, I would like to make a verbal declaration of our commitment to fulfilling this project. We will do all we can to provide the funding as necessary. We will work with the university and by the grace of God, as the, the, the Vice Chancellor has said, we will do everything possible to make sure that by the time we're holding the next memorial lecture, it will be in this building. So help us God. Thank you all very much. I thought you would clap those hands. Really, really make it loud. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, right now, ladies and gentlemen, we will have a project review and I'd like to invite to the microphone now, Architect Kuta. And I want to beg, sir, that we really, really uh, rush up things. The winner is beginning to... Thank you. Please, can you put your hands together for me? Good morning, all. I'm an architect and uh, my job is very simple. I don't know what this is what I'm supposed to do. And uh, just like the, this is it, is the proposed memorial hall. The proposed memorial hall. The capacity is actually 256 capacity. The main hall and the podium, the stage, is going to accommodate up to 30 seating. And then um, the building itself is going to stand on the 414 square meter with a proposed 36 parking space and about 800 square meter of external landscape area. Just like the VC said, it's going to be a modern hall, it's going to be a smart hall with a friendly wiring for a solar inverter system so that I know the, the challenges for lighting situation in all over the country, everybody knows about it. Diesel is too expensive. So we intend to wear it in such a way that uh, the water can be used. And then it's going to be fully air conditioned with some uh, large windows, even if there's no light. The windows, we can open it and then you can uh, have the lectures without problem. And the, these are the following functions. At the ground floor, we are going to have the celebrated central hall, the main hall, and then um, there's going to be a audio, a backstage, and uh, there's going to be two in suit clock and uh, changing room with uh, four conveniences for two for female, two for male. The, the most important thing is, since it's going to be a memorial hall, we are going to be, we are going to be a gallery, a wall, a big hall, that we are going to place all the achievements of the engineer Makoju, all his achievements, there's going to be a hall there. Both at the ground floor and the upper floor. As we're entering the hall, you see all these achievements pasted on it. And then when you climb up to, they are going to see all these achievements pasted on it. And then finally at the upper floor, you go through via the staircase, there's going to be a single office and suit. There's going to be storage and a deck balcony. When you are in the, the hall, you can see the beautiful scenery of this university. I'm going to make sure that this is one of the most beautiful universities. The city is too beautiful. So we uh, admonish the university to maintain the landscape. When you come into this university, you know, ah, this is beautiful, so maintain all the landscape. This is all I'm going to say. And on behalf of my principal, Chief Dr. Ojo Onoja Makonju, uh, Chief Dr. Ojo Onoja, uh, privileged to come and uh, present this piece of information. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I thought you would clap those hands better. It is going to be one of the most beautiful. I have that very clearly. Clap again, please. Thank you very much, sir. And ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to request, if you have this program, you'll see number seven, we will skip temporarily and take vote of thanks so that when we go to the turning of sword, we won't have to come back here. We'll just exit from there to wherever we're going to have um, uh, maybe uh, a closed door meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome the Metrack. I thought you would begin to clap. Rise on your feet and put your hands together. Make it special. Make it very, 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 very special. Keep clapping until she gets up and comes to this podium. Keep clapping. Uh, please, can we just have one minute silence uh, for our daddy? 
engineer Joseph Riyani Makulu. And let us pray for God to rest his soul in perfect peace. I'm quite sure wherever he is today is smiling, is happy, thanking the family, thanking the university for this. Please, one minute silence and prayer for the university. Thank you very much. Such an honor. Now keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Baba, well, thank you very much. Um, I'm not very good at maintaining protocol. So like the last person before me, I'm not even going to attempt. But the vice chancellor knows that I bow. All the principal officers, I bow. saying just a few passing words I want to say. Because as my son said, you have a desire and you want to actualize it and you have all the resources and there's no way you can actualize it unless somebody holds your hand and say, come, use me. This university has done that for us. I'm happy that we all know that today was not just chosen. My husband would have been 66 today. Oh, 76, I'm so sorry. 76 today. We are the same age. He was just about five months older than I am. And I want to encourage those of you who are aspiring. We, we are classmates in Federal Government College. Worry. Immortalizing, you must, would have known what impact it had on us. They had, you would have known what. Some people would say, Why is Madame dressed like this? My husband would not have let me dress like I dressed less than I did because I came here to carry sand to turn the sand. So, I want to say that my family is delighted. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I respect you so much. When I came down, you spoke to me. My colleague, Mrs. Ahmed, my girl, I call her, was asking me, would you go and see the vice chancellor? I said, the man who met me in all his simplicity is the marvelous person doing this one that's here. So there's something in simplicity. That's right. And everything is in the gray matter. It's not loud. So if you want to display what you are, it's not in what your apparel is what you are able to impact person so and my husband was exactly the same somebody as early as 6 a.m sent me a post today the post the title was humility i was in the church because i booked a mass for my husband when i opened this post i replied the post before i listened to the post and then the person replied i sent you this post because this is your, your husband personified I've still not been listening to the post, but I want to say that my husband, we choosing this university, I've said it before, was not by chance. As I said, I told Professor Jagede that I needed to use our residence in Yokoja to build or to change it into a, an entrepreneurial center or leadership training center. Professor Jagede is from Kogi State. I said I want to do it in the university. I'm sure there are more than two universities in Kogi State belonging to the government. Professor Jagede came here and wrote me that he has spoken to the Vice Chancellor of Federal University. Who am I? So people may be saying, why did Madam Magoji come to Federal? 
and not to state. I didn't make the selection. And ironically, when he came here, he said, Madam, do you know, they are going to hold a memorial lecture for your husband. <laughs> so it was not by chance. I, feel, I still feel there's still a feel of spiritualism in it. Because my husband was already working with the vice chancellor. And I never knew. So I want to say that I am happy to relate with this institution. And as I said at the last meeting, we've already put aside with Zenith Bank sufficient resources to fund a PhD student for three years. And that PhD student will be uh, nominated or appointed by the university. And after three years, it's a rolling grant. Another PH student will take that. <laughs> that one is completed. That one is already there. And at the same time, I also said that every year, the best performing girl, maybe you know things are changing. We didn't add uh, AI. AI. You know it's technology now, AI. So the best performing girl, she must have an aspect of science, engineering, tech. That girl is going to get some allowance or, or uh, I don't want to call it donation. It's an award because she worked for it. <laughs> Another award will be for the best performing boy in engineering, tech, or AI, whatever you call it now. And another award for a girl specifically is STM AI. So that is ready. The next, your next graduation ceremony, please walk towards it. You may be the one getting it. It's not us, it's university. So this little one, I'm sure somebody, some people may be thinking, why such a small hall? We are not that big. <laughs> we do what we can cope with. So if we finish this and it's still possible to do more. I promise we'll do more. But let's start with this. Uh, so people are saying, where is she going to get resources? You know, when you started something, you have to complete. I don't give up. I don't give up. So once we have started it and we have committed to delivery, I'm sure it's not only God. God will, we should also work towards it. We assure you that the project will be completed. Completed enough that I will make sure that the VC will be the one who commissions the project. Right. And when we are coming, I say, VC, I'm not bringing big men here. Only my family. Because if I bring big men, I fall by the wayside. They say, hey, where that woman, where's that project, where not finish her? No, we are going to finish it. And when it is time, the big, men, the big persons will come and... Uh, a commune with us. We'll invite them. So pray for us that we are able to finish it. We are committed to it and all things being equal. Once we start, we shall hit the ground running and see through to the completion. Once more, I thank the Vice Chancellor, I thank the management, I thank heads of department, provost, everybody. Maybe I have lost touch with the terminologies. And I thank the students. Thank you for being here. I never expected you. When I did, I told my dad, I said, this is not the ceremony. We are not going to stand by somewhere and put cement somewhere. But I'm happy you came. You are witness to this. So knowing that you are witness to this, we make sure we don't embarrass ourselves to you and maintain our respect for you. So that is a motivational spot. So on that note, I hope I've not lost without anybody. I thank the Reverend Father on short notice, the Imam that was appointed here that should soon be crowned, <laughs> and all those who came with us, friends who just volunteered to come. I say thank you, everybody. God bless this university. Is that the best way you can celebrate? <laughs> thank you, Ma. Principal officers, um, deans, provost, and of course our dear mommy, Makoji. You know, we're very proud of you. You look very beautiful, I can tell you. 
wherever that you is, I'm sure he's proud of you. So we're glad that you came and that you have done this for us. I'd like to crave your indulgence sir, to just sing, what can we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. So we're starting on that note of gratitude to God Almighty. He makes everything possible. And I'm sure for some of my colleagues, they know why I'm actually singing that song. I wanted to be here by all means. I had a small accident three, four days ago, and I said, Kai, I must come for this turning of salt for Mommy Makoju. And I struggled to come. So I'm really glad that I'm able to make it. And to thank you, Ma. You know, it could have been anything. You could have chosen to fly around the world with this money. Any other woman, vain woman, would do it. Some of us could be that guilty, but you chose to immortalize that is woman, we're really grateful. And for a very just cause. So we thank you, ma. We thank everyone. Of course, you know, um, Tinubu's name for Wiki is now Mr. Project. I don't know whether we can extend that to our VC. Yeah. <laughs> so at our level, we call him Mr. Project. He's able to attract quality friends who do quality things for the university. So we're indeed very grateful to you, sir. And of course, to so the other principal officers, he, would has, he has the support of all of us. Um, his colleague, principal officers, deans, manager, every time he calls, we support him because we know he would do something outstanding and uh, always in the interest, best interest of the Federal University local Dam. Of course, I'd like to thank your friends, Ma. Hajama. We thank you so much for supporting Mommy. We thank you. Um, Mr. Enesi, thank you so much for supporting Daddy, uh, Mommy and Daddy in that regard. We thank our students. Um, this is for you, like you heard. The rest of us will finish our tenure, we'll finish our term, we'll retire. The school belongs to you. So we thank you for identifying with it and we trust that you will make the best use of what is being donated today. Um, um, the crew here, Dan and his crew, we thank you so much. Thank everyone for coming and ask God to bless you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> 250. with your contribution map, Mr. Project. Foundation Stone Park. And I read as false. 
engineer J. O. Makoju Memorial Hall Foundation was laid to the glory of God on 13th July 2024, a date which would have been his 76th birthday. By myself, Mr. Enesi Oyedani Makoju. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much, sir. Please, could you kindly just go to the next slide? We are starting pharmacy, we are starting medical lab, we are starting law, and we are starting a grid. So these structures are very important. And these are one of the things that the consultant from our accreditation is giving. So it's really very important, especially this one. We are going to have more students who are going to complete our studies where they can all to be used for exams, for lectures. What do you have to say to the family? The family